So it's time to start breeding some creatures. We're gonna take this and place it right about here. Very good. Now let's hold this to build it up. And just like that, we have an endless supply of new pals. Well, kind of. We have one problem though. We are required to have, ooh, give me that wood. We're required to have cake. And in order to get a cake, I need a cooking pot and flour, milk, eggs, and honey, which is kind of annoying. But thankfully our giant adorable cow is making us lots of milk and that guy's making us eggs. We have berries being farmed up there and I can build a wheat plantation right in here. Some, come on, that's not where I wanted it. Uh, you know what, that's not bad. Nope, cancel, we're moving it just a little bit. Right, would you get out of the way? Thank you, there we go. Then we'll plant the wheat because the rest of my pals are being lazy right now. And water the wheat because the rest of my pals are being lazy right now. Next up, it's time to get a little bit unhinged because my crossbow wasn't doing enough. It's time to make a makeshift handgun. Let's start that production. It's gonna take me a little while, but it'll be entirely worth it now that it's ready. I kind of feel bad about this because this game gets awkward and weird but it'll be better if I equip it and then I can use it. Oh boy. Oh man, this is so wrong. Now the thing is I have to find a pal that can make the honey and then we'll be building cake. Uh, I've heard rumors and you guys have told me in the comments that somewhere up in here there's something. So I teleport over here and there's an entire war happening. Dire Howl, what are you doing? Like, go away. Oh, you know what? On second thought, uh, come here a little bit closer. Yeah. Good boy, who's a good dire? Wow, that mammoth just destroyed everything. I need one of those sometime soon. And there's a wild dingus in my way. Oh, nice. That wasn't so hard. Three shots, he's gone. Uh-oh. One, two. Oh, I missed. Three. Hmm, here's an idea. Catch. Just kidding. Oh, wow. Fine. Be that way then. So there should be some creatures over here. A floppy? Ooh, what are these? Okay, these are moths. Cinnamoth? Can the moths give me honey? I kind of doubt it. Would you not? I mean, that's fine. You can do that. That's cool. Okay, I just need- oh! Ow! Is it- you You killed it. Elky boy. We're supposed to be taming these, not killing them. Got it. All right. Are you getting attacked by something else? Come in here. What is that one? A bristel, oh, stop it. We might need to capture that too. Okay, the Cinemoths are attacking a uh, devout. This boy really does not want to be captured, does he? Come on, come on, here we go, here we go. Okay, I need to look at the pal deck. Uh oh, that's not a good sound. We're good. Honey, lettuce seeds, and wheat. Lettuce seeds, interesting. Okay, so I need a few of these. Thankfully, there look to be a few of them. Whoa, what is that? A robin quill? Don't like you. Oh, hey, wait, 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 wait. I need to capture you. Ah. Okay, and our moth is con. All right, we're gonna use some bigger, oh, missed. No, why did you do that? That was cool looking. We get any loot from it? Bro, come on, you can't, you can't kill him like that. But I got some honey, so that's good. Yeah, use the meteor sparks from Earth. That'll work. There it is. Thank you for... Yeah, that works. All right, we got a second moth. And... No, that was close. Catch that! Ha! And a third one. Whoa! What is this? A gale? Gale claw? Oh, where'd you go? You're being all sneaky and junk. Whoa! There you go. This is how you do it. All right, I don't want to waste any of my bullets because they're kind of expensive. Get him, shiny. Ooh. That'll work. That'll work. Nope. Really? I wanted to tame him. And hey, what is that? A floppy. Hello, floppy. Oh, I'm sorry. You're cute. And I accidentally headshot it. What did I just find here? There's another moth. Oh, cool. Wow, okay. Let's uh, unlock this real quick. Unlock. Nope. Oh, really? All right, Robin Quill. I feel like you've met your match again. There you oh, good hit, good hit. Come back in here and capture. <gasps> I don't know what that thing does, but I definitely want it. Stop it. Oh, I missed. Those are expensive. 
I only have two balls left. Hopefully we get a capture. Nice. There it is. Robin Quill. Hunt and live in the forest. Key to understanding Paul's diverge from humans. Interesting. Yeah. Everything is so dangerous here. What are these things? More floppies? Yeah. All right. We're going bird hunting. Gale Claw in the thingy. Knew it. Oh, yeah. There's a Giga Ball going up. We should be able to catch you with a Giga Ball. Come on, one more. Come on. Yes, yes. Gale Claw. Oh, I think I found bees. Elizabeth. Wait, is that like a ball? Maybe. <laughs> Hello? No. You guys. Hey, I have an idea. Maybe they'll weaken them up for us. Hey, Elizabeth and Bee Guard. Yeah, those are totally bees. Ow. Ow, again. Would you guys. Fine. You've angered me one too many times. Attack. That worked. And do this. <laughs> oh, really? You don't say. Join my club. It'll be fun. I oh, you got the dancing shoes on. Yeet. Oh, I missed. Now, where'd Elizabeth go? Elizabeth is level 28. Let's capture one of these others before we do that. Uh huh. Whoopsies. That was a little bit too vicious. Here, I'll try this one. Can you reach? Maybe. Can you blow fire underwater, friend? Oh, you can. Wow, whoops. I guess these guys are allergic to flame. Yeah. Are you allergic to fire too, Elizabeth? Oh, a little bit. Attack. Uh-oh. You have way too many hit points. I'm just gonna climb a tree and hide. Bees can't, bees can fly in trees. Oh, balls. Hey, stop. No, you killed Elizabeth. Uh, you're highly effective, but at least I got some more honey. Oh, and I got a staff. What does that do? Is that a weapon? It is. I didn't know you could get like rare weapons. Is it a, it's a melee weapon. Gross. What is that thing? <laughs> I want to kill it. Actually, I want to capture it, uh, but I don't have health. All right, whatever, we're doing it. All right, big dingus. Oh, that was actually a pretty good shot. It's adorable too. Nice hit, buddy. Oh, it does this weird attack in space. All right, you're coming back with me. Uh-huh. Nope. Eyeball shot. Boop. And capture. Wrong button. Capture, I said. I said capture. I said capture. Yeah, that's the one. That's gotta be it. No, balls. I don't have too many of these. Really? This is my last one I'm gonna waste on you. But I'll use a green one and capture it. Doesn't make sense. All right, I thought those guys might've been rare, but they're kind of everywhere. What is that? There's a cave up there too. We're gonna leave these cats alone and go on the hunt for some more bees. Whoa, I didn't realize the bees exploded. Oh, balls. Nope, 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 no, that's me, that's me, it hurts, it hurts. Okay, great, okay. That one exploded. <laughs> hey, I got a, oh, nice, I got, I, I captured it. Yeah. Awesome, that's what I needed. Whoa, you survived a 10,000 explosion? There's something very cool about that. Oh, I love that fox barks. He's so strong. He just nukes everything. Stop shooting at me. Yeah, there it is. That's amazing. Okay, I'll help. Good job, Blitz. So now that I have this bee and this cinnamoth, I think I might be able to put them into the farm. I don't know who. You're not doing anything. All right, cinnamoth. I want to know, you're gonna go grazing? You're gonna hang out. Yeah, we totally don't need all of this stuff. Great. If you're grazing in there, that means you're gonna give us honey, right? I think so. And now that we have everything, to, uh, we don't have flour. So I'll build a mill. I guess I'll do that right in front. Can I do that up here? Yeah, out of sight, out of mind. And there we'll make the maximum amount. That's all I can do. All right, whatever. Ding is the penguin here got mm. stuck. So I'll just tell him to start watering. Good job, little buddy. And I believe at my other base, I should have quite a bit of wheat in here. There's no wheat in there, but there's a lot of wheat in here and I can make 122 more. Great. So that should put me over the top to start baking some cakes so we can start breeding. Why, I, it's a flower again. Give me maximum cake. Somehow you build cakes, bake cakes by frying chicken legs, eggs, and I don't even know, potato chunks? 
Are potatoes even in this game? All right, so my first cake is ready. I've got it right here. I kind of want to eat it, but I'm not going to. We have to use it here to make babies. Ooh, what's this? Honey. Neat. Male and female not present. How do we get this weird thing to work? Also, what do we want to breed? I kind of want to breed chillets, except I only have two and they're both males. Nope. Aw, uh, and the humans aren't male or female. That's weird. Oh, I do have more chillets. Hello. <laughs> nice to meet you. All right, buddy, you're gonna come in here. Oh, oh boy, he's excited. Hey, no, you're supposed to stay in there. And then I'm gonna put this one in as well. Where do I put you in at? Yeah, we don't need the dinosaur right now. Come here. There we go, there we go, and yeet. All right, time to get awkward. It says they're working. Should I be watching? Is this awkward? How does this work? Do they, do they do the thing? Oh, it's taking a little time. Love is blossoming between the two pals. Oh my, <laughs> wow. Something else you probably didn't recognize, but I built uh, an energy power generator up there. And I think I have enough stuff to build actual lights now. They're really expensive. I don't have electric organs right here. But I do have a raid. This is also really awkward. I don't know what's happening right now. <laughs> Close the gate, open the gate. There we go, that worked somehow. I'm sorry, you shall not pass. This is my fortress now. You're dead. Everyone dead. You're dead too. That is such a strong spell. Boop. And thank you for all of your ammo. We greatly needed that. It's expensive. One thing that I'm wondering is if the, uh, if the traits from the parents go to the babies. So we have like a waterproof and a vanguard. Both are waterproof, and one's waterproof vanguard. Okay, that's interesting. Because I've got some pretty good fox sparks that we could make work. So any second now, the egg should be ready. I should have built an incubator. Hmm. Interesting. Oh. Oh, there's the egg. Okay, not enough cake. A frozen egg. Hmm. You got any cake ready? Almost. So I'm gonna build some of the incubators on top of this roof. I think I can fit like two or three in here. And by three, I entirely mean four. So we can set that frozen egg inside. Seems like it's a regular. It's only five minutes, really. All right, the egg is ready. Let's incubate this thing up. And I'm hoping it's another, yeah, another chill it. Okay, it's a Vanguard pacifist abnormal. So it did get it did get the two traits of the parents, but it also got abnormal and pacifist. Interesting. What does abnormal do? Oh, incoming neutral damage. Weird. He's a cute little baby. So another question is, can we maybe make babies across different, different animal types? Let's just try this out for a second. All right, we got our shiny. We'll throw this shiny into here. This might be weird. Oh. Oh, they're working. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what is happening? I mean, is that? Okay, they don't have, they don't have, they are making an egg. They're making an egg. You can make, that's weird. Can I put the, can we try the humans? <laughs> like the humans don't have male or female. This is gonna be awkward. All right, <laughs> time to be a little unhinged, but that egg is not enough cake. Oh, love is blossoming between the pals. Yikes, that's, that's weird. Why is that, can I not pick up that egg? I should be able to. Yeah, a large common egg. It's large. I'll set the egg in. It's a green one, so that's gonna take 40 minutes. My goodness. Buddy, what are you doing here? You got a case of the big dumb in your life. So evidently interior barns are not the way of the future here. Or just having giant antlers. You know, I never checked, but that bee seems to be really, really strong. Oh, wow. Planting and York, lumbering, medicine production, production, gathering, and farming. That is really strong. All right. And I want these two to make a baby now. Yeah. Is you, are you female? Okay, we got we got two males. Never mind. Doesn't work that way. All right. Let's try the syndicate thug. No, 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 no. Oh, I can't actually assign you anywhere. But I do want to see if the stars, uh, because our shiny has got four stars, I want to see if that carries over. So I might have just changed the world settings. Oh, it 
Okay, let's just set that egg. Can I take it out and put it back in again? Yeah, that works better. <laughs> I didn't want to sit here for 40 minutes to see what kind of weird contraption to come up with. A Lunaris? Well, hold on. That actually created a different kind of animal? <laughs> There's the Lunaris. Handiwork times three. My goodness. This is actually pretty good. And manipulates gravity, increases the player's carrying strength. Wow. That's amazing. So we'll get a few more cakes being made up. You gotta love it too when your sheep are just mass producing ammo for you. <laughs> Good job, little lammy. All right, we got another scorching egg ready. Not enough cake to make that work, but I'm gonna see what kind we can get out of this and if it's got any special stats. Like that's the real kicker there. Let's incubate the scorching egg up and what do we get? A lucky artisan fox sparks. So I want to know if we can continue having this trait or the stars, because I leveled this guy up so he'd have the, the shiny plus the stars. But his baby doesn't have any of that. But he is lucky, so that's kind of cool. And an artisan. He's got a good work ethic. We'll pit him to work instead of this guy. Well, anyway, my friends, that'll do it for today's video where we bred up the creatures. That's a really interesting mechanic. And if you have any suggestions or ideas of things I can put in there, you'll have to drop a comment down below and let me know. Anyway, thanks for watching. Keep your stick on the ice. We'll catch you next time. And I'd like to thank all my patrons and channel members, including Spider Sax, Doug Rules, Skunk Chess, Brett, Dalton C, Scanner D, Mr. Cripple One, Peyton Please, Fussy Badge, Missing Sniper, Blank Hewitt, Tyler J, Nitro VR, Nitrox, Wyatt H, Honor Dave, Ben, Dickie J, Teddy Hippias, General Harris, Trent M, Kodino, Redlow Warrior, Keegan H, Zarnoff, Baxter, Ral, VC Engineer, Scars Marex, Spencer T, Whiskey, and YH.